What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bree and I am a licensed practical nurse. And in this video, I wanted to talk about the disadvantages of choosing the LPN program first. So as you all know, I decided to become an LPN before applying to the RN program. Um, and I made the list of pros uh, slash like benefits on my so in my last video I made a video about the benefits and the advantages of being a LPN before an RN so I don't think that it's fair for me to make a video on the disadvantages of choosing LPN first because with good, there is bad in most cases, and that is the case with the LPM program. So I just wanted to point some of the cons out because I think that it can be a deal breaker for some people. And I think that someone choosing what they you know, should do with their career, I feel like they should get both sides, both perspectives, good and bad, positive, negative, all that. So that is what this video is for. Okay, so the first thing that I have on my list is going back to school slash the pressure to go back to school. So this video isn't really for LPNs that chose this as a career, don't have any thoughts of going back, don't have any desire to go back. This video isn't really for you all because there are cons to any profession, any job. So I'm not really trying to point out the negatives of being... That's just like basically pointing out the negatives of being a nurse. But uh, basically, I want to point out the negatives of choosing LPN first when you know that you want to be an RN or if RN is a goal. So I just want to point out the negatives of choosing this path versus just going straight to RN. Okay, so uh, pressure to go back to school. Um, I am in the state where I am feeling anxious about going back to school and that is only because like I, I feel like I have to go back I know I have to go back and it's it's a con it's it's a con because who doesn't want to be just like content with where they are after they've worked so hard so um, LPN school isn't easy and I feel like I work really hard in that program and to know that I have to work probably twice as hard to become an RN is just like uh, like you know what I mean like it's not that I don't want to do it it's just like like uh, I really don't want to go back to school but I know I have to go back so I mean it's just tough because like that's where I am in my life right now and I know that it's a part of the process and I know like I know it's a part of the process and I know like in the future I'll probably I know in the future that I'll appreciate this time right now so I'm really trying to appreciate where I am right now in my career and not really you know feel like oh I gotta go back and I can't really enjoy being an LPN but it's a con just you know with the thought of going back to school in your mind just knowing that you got to go back um the next con that i have on here let me see So the next thing that I have on here is finding a bridge program. This is what I've been having a tough time with because I want to go to a state school. We all know if you go to like a state school, community college, um, even like a, a state university, the tuition is typically a little cheaper and the school is more, I guess like accepted when it comes to working. like. I think the accreditation of those schools just like look a little bit better or you know people look at like state colleges is like a little bit better and like I said the tuition so 
I'm really trying to find a program that's not too far away. And it's just not that many programs that bridge to RN. So you don't have as many choices as you do just like going straight for RN out the gate. And that is a little bit difficult because now you have to figure out like what's your commute going to be or like if you choose um, a quicker commute, like you may have to pay more out of pocket, you may have to pay more tuition. Um, it's just, it's just been a struggle trying to find a program, uh, especially with programs being so competitive here in Georgia. But I mean, it is what it is. This is what I chose. I kind of knew this beforehand anyway but it's still like it's still a disadvantage because I mean I'm ready to just like apply and hop right into school and you know it's just not that easy to do that so that's something to keep in mind I mean it's not a hurdle that you can't overcome but it'll prob probably probably be easier to just go ahead and get your RN The next thing I have on here is taking the NCLEX twice. That can be seen as a con. It is a con for me because I don't really like to take tests like that, especially like those type of tests and all those select all that apply questions and critical thinking and all that. And just like, you know, preparing for that all over again. Um, you know, it's, a, it's just a disadvantage taking a test twice. Um, when you could have only just taken it one time. Again, that is something that you know going into the LPM program, you know, with the thoughts. That is something that you know going into the LPM program with the plan to, re you know, with the plan of going back to school to become an RN. So it's not that I didn't know this beforehand. It's just, it's just a disadvantage. You have to take the NCLEX twice. It is what it is. Suck it up, buttercup. Mm, let me see. So the next dick. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So the next. What was I going to say? So the next, so the next, so the next disadvantage I have is that your work settings are a little limited when you are an LPN and you're looking to go back to school. Um, my biggest thing with going back to school as an LPN are the benefits and getting a company to pay or to assist with tuition going back to RN. That is like like up here for me so I just find that it has been a little difficult to find employment in you know certain settings that are willing to help you with that I am very blessed and I think that the work settings can be limited um, even though there are like so many opportunities for you to work, uh, for me, I think tuition reimbursement and like career development is very important when going back to school and finding employment. And so that is a disadvantage, uh, trying to find an employer that is going to support you uh, getting your education, which I have been, you know, pretty blessed and thankful that I do have a I do have a job that does have those benefits, but um, it took me some time to actually land this job. And yeah, so I mean, just going back to school in general and just trying to figure out like, how are you gonna pay for it is a disadvantage all in itself. But to combat that, I would just suggest um, really doing the research in the companies that you are, are applying to and just seeing if they have a benefit for you to go back to school.
So now that I've been working on the floor as an LPN, I work on a med surge unit at a hospital here in Georgia where I live. And I think that um, one of the biggest disadvantages of being an LPN is that during nursing school, you don't really learn the why behind what you're doing. And nurse, in practical nursing school, they pretty much just teach you how to do it and what to do. Um, they kind of graze over why the doctor is making that decision. Um, we learn more about the disease processes and things like that. But like when I'm working on the floor and I hear like the nurses talk or like when we're giving a report and everything, it's like some of that stuff, I'm like, <laughs> either I missed that or I didn't learn that. And I'm pretty sure like a lot of things I didn't learn because you know, some things would just ring a bell, but some things I can just tell I didn't learn and I don't understand. And you know, some of the irons have to like really, you know, break it down for me and help me understand, which is a good thing uh, because you're building a relationship with your coworkers, but it's just also a disadvantage of just not knowing, um, you know, just like, like, just not knowing, you know, certain depths of patient care. And I think that is, you know, just a con to the LPN profession. So I, so another con that I have, and this is to piggyback off of something that I said previously, and that's just, it's not really that many bridge programs. And not only is there not that many bridge programs, they are very competitive. So especially the state schools, like if they have wait lists or if they just only have a very slim, um, selection of slots like they don't have that many people that they're selecting for their program um it's just it can be really difficult especially if you're not a straight a student to get into those programs so sometimes you may have to go to like for-profit programs like uh, may have to go to like a, a chamberlain college where the tuition is outrageous but um, if you try to find employment where they offer some tuition assistance or try to find a program that offers tuition assistance, uh, that could really help you out a lot. Um, it's just, it's just so many things that you might, that you need to consider when choosing LPN and what are your plans for the future and really researching your area and the programs that they have available just to kind of see like what spot are you going to be in once you get your LPN. So are you going to be stuck? Like, are you going to be able to go commute to another state if you need to? Are you going to be able to commute two hours out if you need to? So before you make the decision on if you want to be an LPN or RN first, I highly suggest you watch this video and see what is it that you can do to combat these challenges i would say like um how are you going to combat the difficulty of finding a program how are you going to combat um the feeling of going back to school like are you going to be serious and going back to school once you know that you you know taking your test um are you going to be willing to take the NCLEX again um Are you even willing to go back to school? Like, do you feel like you should have just went to school a little longer and didn't even have to worry about this? I feel like these are the things that you need to ask yourself before taking this journey, before taking the step. Um, it might be a little bit easier for you to just go ahead and get your RN so that these are hurdles that you don't even have to worry about. But again, if you're someone like me and you know that you can figure out solutions to the problems that you may have in the future when it comes to being when it comes to becoming an RN, then I say, you know, go for it. Just know ahead of time what you're getting yourself into and knowing how to overcome those challenges. That's pretty much all the advice that I can give. I hope this video makes some sense. I hope that um, I was able to lay out 
the realistic truth for you and that it makes it a little bit easier for you to make your decision. If I have left out anything, please leave me below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.